Hey guys, Matt from Eastwood over here in my home garage. And today we're going to give you a quick little brake line tech tip for when you're doing brake lines. So I'm doing a full redo of all the brake lines on this 1947 Ford behind me. And I'm going through and doing a lot of flaring, bending, cutting of brake lines. And one tool that I've been using a lot that I thought I'd quick stop and show you guys is the uh, deburring tool for tubing that we have here. Now this tool can be used on larger size tubing, but it's really handy on doing brake and fuel lines, especially on brake lines where you need to put a flare on the brake line that is going to have really high pressure on it, so you need to get a good seal. So the reason that this is really handy and kind of the tech tip behind all of this is if you've ever had an issue when doing flares when you're doing brake lines where possibly the brake line is a little bit deformed or there's something a little odd on the, on the inside or, or OD of the flare when you're done, it could be that you didn't, after you cut your brake line, you didn't deburr it. And there is a little bit of burr either on the inside or the outside of the brake line tubing after you cut it. And when you go to flare that into it, it actually pushes it into the flare and makes an uneven surface that could cause problems and possibly not seal and you'd have to redo it over. So the nice thing with this tool is it does both inside and outside. The uh, inside diameter, uh, tool portion of it actually slides in so that it doesn't get damaged when it's rolling around your toolbox. You can basically slide it out, tighten it up, and you're ready to go. Then when you want to deburr some, some brake line tubing, you can basically just take it, rotate it around a few times, just like this, and it will cut because it has a conical cutting edge on it that will actually cut on the inside. That'll give you a nice clean surface on the OD, and then you flip it over, and you can work that OD there and do the same thing. And it has cutting uh, female conical section in here that actually cuts, puts a nice little deburred section, actually kind of radius it just a little bit that makes it perfect and ready for flaring your brake lines. And it's just another step to make perfect brake lines every single time. Now, if you want to learn about the, the deburring tool that I showed here in this video today, click the link down below or you can visit eastwood.com to get all the tools you need to do the job right. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.